Today is Wednesday, October 3rd, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. Today everyone in Stockton seemed to feel the effect of some rain. This morning many Stocktonians woke up to rain on their windshields and decorating the ground. A small system went through our region today and yesterday bringing in some of that rain. The real bulk of it though fell around 2 o'clock today where some areas saw potential torrential downpours. That happened right during the time for children being picked up from school. You can see here some parents even using umbrellas for the first time this season. The rainfall today was not too measurable, but it was enough to cause some minor flooding on streets and highway off-ramps. The clouds should disperse a little bit going into Thursday and Friday. The high for Friday is expected to be 78, and for Friday the high, or I should say for Thursday, the high should be 75. And we certainly enjoyed seeing the rain while it was here. If you have any photos or videos of that rain, you can submit them to using hashtag SCWWX. The Stockton Police Department is looking for the public's help in finding these suspects wanted for a string of burglaries in the city. One of those residential burglaries happened as recently as yesterday. The police department has not released any more information on the suspect or about those burglaries that they were involved in. They say that if you have seen them, you can call Crime Stoppers at 209-946-0600. We'll have more news after this. Hi, this is Wayne Richardson coming to you from Stockton, and we serve the homeless of San Joaquin County. Outside of this mission, if you know somebody who needs help, please refer them to us. Also, we covet your prayers and financial support. If you want to volunteer, please contact us. God bless you. Welcome back. We are following some breaking news. A second person has now been charged in connection with former Stockton Mayor Anthony Silva's alleged money laundering schemes. Sharon Simus, his former assistant while he was a mayor and the former president of the Stockton Boys and Girls Club, has now been charged with five of the different eight charges that the court has put on Mayor Anthony Silva. Now, some of those charges that Anthony Silva had originally been charged with included embezzlement, which was a felony, money laundering, and embezzlement by a public officer since he was the mayor, as well as multiple other charges. Mrs. Simus has now been charged with multiple felony counts that former Stockton Mayor Anthony Silva also faced himself. Mrs. Simus, a district attorney's office, claims is out of the country but will be arraigned as soon as she returns. And we are following some more breaking news. Just getting to our newsroom right now, a flood advisory has been issued for San Joaquin County and Stanislaus County. For right now, all that we know so far is that they say that they, that we could experience flooding in areas such as Stockton, Modesto, the Country Club area, French Camp, Salida, and some other areas, of course, in San Joaquin and Stanislaus counties. They say that this cause this flooding could be in small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets, and underpasses, as well as other areas in the county. That they that this is not expected to expire until. Um, what looks like 6.40 or 8.45, I should say, this evening. That is when it should, at 8.45 is when this advisory expires. They say that a large cell was detect detected around 5.52 that could be on its way to the area. And again, a flood advisory now being issued until six until 8.45 this evening. Today was National Coffee with Cop Day. Some of our local agencies participated, hosting different meet and greet events in the Stockton community. And regular citizens were able to talk to officers over a cup of coffee at these. Here are some photos from the California Highway Patrol Stockton Office's Coffee with a Cop event. It was held at a Starbucks in Murata. From 7 to 10 in the morning, dozens of people came out to talk to the officers. Also participating was the Stockton Police Department. There was, was hosted at the Costco. It included a SWAT team and drone demonstration. As I mentioned, there were hundreds of other law enforcement agencies across the nation who participated as well. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. Stay here for more news and information daily from Stockton.